So basically you're telling me even with a new game plus they don't have a single bit of a power of that of that plus? Or are you trying to say that even with the powers of the old uh, save file, they just don't have the level? Is that it? I don't really know how to put it. Anger and Feather Despair you were all I want to review Eden Zero and this is uh, 227, a very disappointing chapter to say the least. Especially as it implied that uh, Shiki and the rest of the guys are actually weaker only because their bodies cannot handle the experience and ether that they technically have received back when they got their memories. Although this is no stranger to the fact that um, Hiromashima's mangas always do show uh, a moment of weakness until the characters bounce back, this is still extremely concerning for me to hear. Either way, in the chapter itself, uh, uh, Poseidon Nero mentions that he has heard a name, however, uh, of Laguna, but he doesn't, but he cannot know it more. And he fires his emperor dice, as it turns out that they are still using them to uh, decide his victory, as he still fires them a projectile, especially as before. Uh, and it's here that Pino actually detects that looking by the ether readings, uh, Shiki and Nero's are supposed to be equal. And the reason why uh, Shiki is not accepting his full power is because his power and body are imbalanced. Basically, his body cannot compensate for the power he gained in the three years between the Hour Wars and the Kaido War. And that is the same for everyone else, as well Weiss has happened to trouble. Uh, Fighting off, uh, f fighting off the fire spirit, but still, uh, um, but still doesn't really get shut down by it all. It's here that witch actually contacts uh, uh, Wise and mentions that by their stories, uh, Hermit should be in Digitalis or uh, by some bronze, bronze statue, and she will retrieve her and then hold out until then. Well, in the old universe, uh, Hermit suffered a crisis of faith after that mad doctor. It was only for the kindness of uh, Shiki and the rest that they managed to see more. Can Witch really pull that through, or is this something different? Oh, and by the way, Witch's new outfit, which shows her amazing cleavage even more than before, is amazing. Um, uh, and it's here that the fire spirit mentions that he just wants to kill Wise immediately, probably because he survived. Meanwhile, Rebecca kicks off the wood spirit, but um, uh, but the powers of the last will has passed on to her, but she can no longer time leap. And even though she kicks the wood spirit, it's worth noting that even though she got the power, it's not enough to. Uh, to knock him out, after all, her body cannot handle it, so she gets bounded by his wood gear again. So, uh, and he even mentions that now, even, and even also talks in metaphors of vi video games, saying like, uh, uh, every time you play a game, the enemies get stronger, and this is basically hard mode. And even saying that um, Rebecca is too weak to torture. So yeah, the fight is not likable to me, especially as they're struggling this much. And even, and it's even revealed in this um, universe that despite the fact that Nero has a water ether gear, he actually does have his wormhole ether gear too, because when Shiki uses it, he asks Shiki, why does he have his power? And it's here actually revealed the shocking more truth. Well, uh, not shocking, this was theorized last chapter from Bari anyway. But uh, yes, it is confirmed that Shura is the new emperor of the Aoi cosmos, but that is not the shocking part. The shocking part for me is the fact that Nero willingly stepped down from the throne. And okay, that is not the shocking part either, but I'm still surprised by that. After all, he was a very egomaniac who didn't really want to step down. So why did he abdicate his throne to his son? Because it turns out that Shura is his son as well and now he became a joint managers uh, uh, which basically says that Draken is the president is only known to the public uh, I don't 
think that is the case. I mean, he says they're joint managers, but I don't believe that. I don't think Draken sees Nero as an equal. Uh, uh, and now it's uh, the Empire is under the control of Emperor Shurup, who is indeed his son. And uh, but the sh the real shocking part is confirmation of Laguna because we actually got a confirmation of where Laguna is. Yes, he is in in our cosmos, and yes, there is still a rebel force against Shura, implying that this world's Shura is just as mad, if not more insane, than the previous world, previous world one, because in this universe, it's Laguna who is. Uh, the leader of the organ of Oasis, the rebel, uh, rebel alliance against the Empire. Not the big cat guy, which once again implies that uh, Hiromashima has a thing against aliens. I know I said it before, and I know it's controversial to say, but there are some very strong implications that Hiromashima is actually a little bit phobe against aliens. And uh, this just further f picks fuel on that fire because now in this universe it's Laguna who is the leader, not Goodwin, the giant cat. So, where is Goodwin? Does he exist in this universe? Is he just a subordinate of Laguna? More than that, where is the, f where is the princess? Uh, is she still a sex slave of Shura or is in this universe something else? Hmm. In the previous universe, she was captured, tortured, and then became a Stockholm Syndrome slave to uh, Shura. Hmm, something tells me in this universe it's actually the same, only a little bit more tragic. Maybe she willingly became Shura's uh, slave in this one. Yes, that is still Stockholm Syndrome, but maybe a little bit different. Because in this universe, you have to care say that in the previous universe, Ilya said that... Uh, Shura has never experienced love and therefore he was emotionally empty. But here, Nero willingly abdicated the throne to Shura, who is his adopted son. So, yeah, I'm just wondering, uh, why did he abdicate? I, because, does he really care enough for that? Or did he just decide that in his victory pond it was better to be joint managers with with Drakken. I don't know. There are too many questions. Either way, yeah, it's pretty a frustrating chapter. Basically because it implies that this is a hard mode and the gang cannot win because of it. Because the body is not used to it. So please stop struggling already. You're not supposed to struggle. At least not until you face off against Eden's one. But, yep. Yeah. Basically the chapter, give me a fossil you have it.